quite honest with you, when the police called, I thought they were going to call to give me an update that maybe he had died. Okay? That's how my mindset was. Calgary police have charged Christopher Ward Dunlop with the murder of Judy Myers. Her body was found here at the Deerfoot Athletic Park on February 16th. The mother of a woman killed by Dunlop more than a decade ago says his is a name she didn't expect to hear again. The body of 38-year-old Laura Ferlin was found in Fish Creek Park in 2009. Dunlop was accused of first-degree murder in her death but was convicted of manslaughter. He was sentenced in 2015 to 13 years in prison and was recently released. Because I always had a feeling that there was more. However, with our justice system, the way that it is, you know, these guys, they go into jail, they're living the life, they do all of their stuff, they come out as a model prisoner, and that's fine. He did his time, but I thought it was over with and I, could, I didn't want to think about it anymore. This brings it all back up. And all I really want is for his story to be over. Justice Studies professor at Mount Royal University, Doug King, says, according to the Correctional Services of Canada, the likelihood of someone who is serving jail time to finish sentence and then get out to commit another serious offense is 2 in 1,000. He believes the problem does not lie within the system, but the way these cases are handled. You have to worry about what happened in this case that someone that was clearly as mentally disordered as this individual is, was, how did that individual slip through the cracks in terms of why was a plea deal for first-degree murder um, uh, uh, changed to manslaughter? That would have been a Crown decision, right? That was, you know, so the Crown prosecutor, it's not a judge issue. Police say there are a lot of similarities between the two investigations and Myers' death parallels the 2009 killing of Ferlin. Dunlop has been charged in Myers' death and he is set to appear in court on March 6th. City News reached out to the Alberta Crown Prosecution Service for a comment but did not hear in time for broadcast. In Calgary, Hena Said, City News.